Hi, this is Richard Huntley here, and uh, today we're going to have a little look at the science behind burning off your belly fat. This is part one in the series, which we're going to be running through over the next few days, so uh, stay tuned for those videos. Just before we get started on jumping right in to the first part of this topic, if you're new to my videos, I welcome you here. You can pick up my seven-day fat loss formula plan, which is totally free. You can click on the big red button here with a click here button on the screen of your video or the same link which is below this video takes you over to the page where you can download my seven day plan for free. Right, so let's get started today. Here's the first part, first step to burning off your belly fat. And we're going to have a little look at your nutrition and diet and with this it's your hormone levels which is most important. So I just want to give you a few little lessons on this. Don't want to get too much into the science but just a little gentle bit so you have an understanding of what's going on. So the first thing to understand is that when you're eating these high glycemic, high sugar absorbing foods, uh, we end up especially when we eat too much of them we have this excess imagine it like you're filling up your car with fuel and you're putting in too much fuel what happens it all spills over the side well it's very similar with when we're having in these sort of foods which i'm saying the high sugar carbohydrate high glycemic index foods and what you do is when you eat too many and you consume too many of these you have the glucose which are these sugars over spillage and what happens is insulin's job will grab hold of these glucose in the blood in the bloodstream and take hold of that blood sugar and then throw it into your fat cells so that's why it gets stored as fat so some people don't think that some people are thinking about oh it's fats that's making you fat well the science has been shown totally different over the last years so we'll dive a little bit more into that in the next slide so the idea first of all if you can get a good little take-home message from this is to improve your diet by maybe looking at your high glycemic foods and if you want a list of them I've got lots of different other foods you can pick up my seven-day plan I've listed out on the different days some good ha um, healthy eating habits to use so that's definitely a good little guideline so when you start using these people literally see immediate results within the first seven days 14 days it's a drastic change to your body that's because your body hasn't known uh, about these sort of foods your body hasn't been introduced to these sort of foods before when you replace them and you reduce them from your diet that's when you'll start to see really big changes especially like the area we're talking about today which is your belly fat so here's the take home message in part one of this series the, obviously the idea to lose your belly fat is to reduce your belly uh, is to reduce your fat levels but we do this for obviously nutrition first because without that you're going to find it really hard to lose your fat but then we can look at your work Workouts and start building a workout program to really shape your body well, build strength, more energy levels, things like this. So you've got to get your nutrition right. And don't think it's all about low fat. Some lots of people think, oh well, you know, over the last say 20, 30 years, people have been really promoting the low fat diets. But you can you can eat fat, but it's the good kind of fat. Things from the uh, more natural mother nature sources of food, which are, you know, say you get an avocado that has a high fat content or coconut oil, things like this, but this is all natural foods and it's very good for us. And when you're eating like a protein and good uh, fat sources of food, you're going to keep yourself full for longer. See, when you're snacking on these high glycemic foods, you're going to get really hungry very fast in a short amount of time. That's why I say to set your day off right, have a good protein rich with good fat rich uh, breakfast and that's going to be a great way to start off your day and you're not going to be hungry you're not going to get the sugar crash when you get really sleepy lethargic and tired so look to cut out these high glycemic foods like i said in the plan i've got different foods that you can um, understand you can reduce or you can google it too you'll be able to find big lists people have done charts for you and everything it's called the glycemic index and it lists out lots of different foods then you can look at a thing called the glycemic load which is for the quantity of the food you're eating which is even more specific um, so the main hormone we want to control today is the insulin and to do this you can eat your carbohydrates but the key is to get them in rotation form so you want to rotate your carbs to strategically eat them when necessary so like I always see in my in, say in my videos if you are for example um, sat down at a desk all day and your energy levels are maybe not at its peak because you're not moving around you're not exercising so much or you're not going to burn 
obviously as many carbohydrates so you don't want to consume as many if obviously you're a little bit more physical or you've just done a workout and you want to um, replenish your glycogen stores then you want to use carbohydrates and uh, that's the place to strategically use them and uh, that will definitely help you out so there you go there's the first little bit of science behind losing your belly fat the next video coming will be a, a whole nother little topic on this whole series hope you enjoy that if you did and maybe if you even you know learned one or two things from what I've discussed today or it reminded you on something to help you keep on track to get the body where you want it to be always appreciate your support with sharing my videos with your friends and family and uh, thumbs up like button always appreciate that and uh, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel look out for the new series coming you can do so I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in part two in the next video